Hi, this is John Clifford. I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about cutting fringe or bangs, as they like to say in the US of A, and how to texturize them. Also, I'm going to be touching lightly on some face framing, and we'll be going over to our fabulous mannequin to demonstrate some of these techniques for you. Okay, so when we're thinking about face framing, what does that bring to mind? Well, the word in itself says that you're framing the face. What we want to do is have softer layers going around our client's face to, I don't know, break up the perimeter, I guess. Some clients have very heavy hair and it's very blunt. And from my opinion, the hair can be so heavy that they're looking out between a pair of curtains. So I like to see softness, not on every haircut, of course, but on particularly heavy haircuts where the face is being covered. I think we also need to show the face. There's one important aspect of face framing with a razor that is really huge to me, and that's elevation. If we have very low elevation and start to cut with our razor all the way through to the ends, the result we're going to get is going to be very heavy. So we're going to get a very solid line. That may work for some clients. It may not work for other clients. So how do we counteract that? How do we make this line less solid? Well, to me, it's pretty easy. This technique works for me, and it's all about elevation. The more I elevate this section and then cut, the softer it's going to fall. Why? Because we've cut the hair out of its natural fall. We're letting it fall after we've cut it elevated. So as you can see, we have a much softer line all the way through that section. Whereas before it was very blunt and solid, now we've changed that into a very kind of gossamer look. We can also use these techniques on bangs. Um, my fabulous model right now doesn't exactly have any bangs or fringe, but just as a clue and talking about them, if we want very heavy bangs, we can cut our bangs from one side to the other with no elevation. It's going to make it very, very, very heavy and blunt. To me, this technique is not super at home with a razor, but it can be done. What I like to do when I'm cutting bangs is, again, I like to elevate and then cut my bangs from one side to the other, and it falls softer. It's the falling soft that I like. If I want a bang to be super, super heavy, I'm going to use my Jatai Switchblade shears because that lends itself much better to a cleaner line. Again, after we do the bangs, we cut that line, we can also go in and texturize. We want to texturize vertically on bangs, particularly down at the ends to break up that line. If we go in flat, with a flat razor blade when we're doing bangs, we're going to take out too much of this outside hair and you're going to get a lot of volume on the outside. Again, different hair, different hair textures require different techniques. And not every hair texture will allow you to perform every technique. So again, try on mannequins. Experiment on friends that will let you. And don't let the fear stop you from trying out your Jatai razor.